Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be solving the leak code question gas station. All right, so let's start off by just reading the question and then I'll explain what the question actually means. Okay, so in this question, there are N gas stations along a circular route where the amount of gas at the station I is gas at index I. You have a car with an unlimited gas tank and it costs cost at the index I of gas to travel from station I to the next station I plus one. You begin your journey with an empty tank at one of the gas stations. Return the starting gas station's index if you can travel around the circuit once in the clockwise direction, otherwise return negative one. Okay, so uh, one more thing we really wanna notice is that if there is a solution, there it is guaranteed to be a unique solution. Okay, so let's start actually visualizing what the question means and try to understand. So this over here is the same as example one over here. So this is the gas, this is the cost, and we have the same values over here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create one more thing over here called the station. So this is going to represent each of our gas stations. So where our stations are gonna start off at zero. So we have station zero, then we have station one, station two, station three, and station four. So what exactly does this mean? So let's just go by this one by one. So let's say we're at station one. So once we go to station one, the amount of gas we get from station one is equal to this over here. So we go to the first index of gas, which has a value of two, and that is the amount of gas we get at station one. So we get two liters of gas, okay? But now if we're at station one and we want to go to station two, the cost, the amount of gas it's gonna take us is going to be four. So in other words, let's just say it costs us four liters to go from station one to station two. Uh, one more quick example, let's say three. So this value over here is gonna cost the amount it takes to get from three to four. And this over here is gonna tell us how much gas we get at station three. So that's pretty much it for the question. And one more thing is, let's say we start off at uh, station two. So that means we start over here. And what that means is we wanna go over here, then here, and then all the way back over here, since it's a circle, then over here, and finally we would end up over here. That is going to be considered a full circle. And in that case, we do not want, our tank has to end up by being empty or more than empty. It has to have more than zero liters of gas in order to be a valid answer. And if it's not a valid answer, then in that case, we return negative one. So now that you understand what the question actually is, let's see how we can actually solve this. And I'll be looking at the same example in this case. So over here, we're going to have three different variables that we want to consider. So over here, we're going to have a variable called the start variable. So this start variable over here is going to be the gas station at which we're going to start our journey at. And in the beginning, we're just going to start our journey at the zeroth index, so at station number zero. So we're going to be starting from station zero over there. So over here, we have one more uh, variable called tank. So tank is going to correspond to how much gas do we currently have inside of our car's gas tank, right? So in the beginning, when we're starting off, we have zero liters of gas. And finally, we're going to have one more variable called shortage. So shortage, in other words, is going to be how much, tank, uh, how much gas are we missing in order to get to the next station? So let's say we don't have enough gas and we're uh, missing, let's say one liter of gas, that is going to be our shortage value. So this is gonna be a cumulative value, which we're gonna add on as we go. So this is gonna be the best solution since we're going to be going through our list only one time. So this is how it's going to work. So first we're gonna start off at station zero and at station zero, we're gonna fill up our tank with one liter of gas. So now our tank has one liter of gas since we added one. So now in order to get to station two, it, it's going to cost us three liters of gas, but we only have one liter of gas. It is not possible for us to use, to get over to station two with just one liter of gas. So in that case, what's going to happen, that means that uh, starting at station zero, is not a valid answer. So we're gonna add this value, the shortage of gas to our shortage variable. And also one more thing, this starts up at a value of zero. Okay, so what is the shortage gonna be? So we currently have one liter, but we need three liters. So there's a difference of two liters. So that is going to be our shortage. Three minus one ending up uh, giving us a value of two. And we're gonna add two plus zero, giving us a shortage value of two. 
Now we know for a fact that station zero is not a valid answer. So now we're gonna change our start position to the next station. So instead of zero, we're gonna start off at station one. So that's our new start position. And our tank is gonna reset to a value of zero since we're just resetting everything. And now uh, I'll just go through this a little bit faster. So at station uh, one currently, our uh, we fill up with two liters of gas. So now we have two liters of gas in our tank. And, but in order to get to the next station, we need four liters of gas and we do not have four liters of gas. So that gives us a shortage of four minus two, uh, giving us a shortage of two liters. We need two more liters in order to make that possible. So in that case, uh, we're gonna add that to our shortage. So two plus two now has a value of four. And we also know that starting at station one is also not a valid answer. So we're gonna change our start to station two and our tank is gonna reset to a value of zero again. So now we go on to station two. Over here, we get three liters of gas, so that becomes the value of our tank, three plus zero. And to get to the next station, we need five liters. Again, we do not have enough gas, so that's a shortage of two, five minus three, ending us with a, a value of the shortage equal to six. Okay, and now we gotta do the same thing again. We change our start value to the next value. So now we're starting at station three and our tank is now going to have a value of zero again. Okay, so now at station three, we start off, we get four liters of gas. So now our tank has four liters and to get to the next station, it costs us one liter. But what you wanna notice is that this is possible. We have four liters and we only need to give out an extra one liter. So we can do that trip, right? So in this case, what's gonna happen, we're just gonna subtract the one liter of gas inside of our uh, gas tank. So that is going to end up giving us four minus one. So now our tank has a value of three and we do not have any shortage since we were able to make the trip and we're gonna leave our start value of three because so far it has been working out. So now finally we go on to the next value over here and at the fourth station, we get five liters of gas. So now our tank is five plus three and it has eight liters of gas in total. And in order to go back to the first station over here, since it's a circle, it is going to cost us a total of two liters of gas. So that is going to be eight minus two, and our tank now has six liters. And the reason we subtract from the tank is because we are able to make that trip. So this is going to be the ending of our solution, but what does this actually mean? How do we get the solution from this? So at the ending, we have a start value of three. So that's telling us that we can start at station three, then we have a tank which has six liters of gas currently, and we have a shortage of six. So what does this actually mean? So shortage, if you recall, is let's say we collected one liter of gas here, and the shortage to get to the next station was two liters, right? So three minus one. Now, what you wanna notice is currently when we're starting off our trip again from over here, we already have six liters in our gas starting off from, and we're not counting the amount of gas which is over here since that gas is already accounted for in our shortage. So if this value of six is equal to our shortage or greater than, that means that our trip is possible and we can make a full circle. If that still doesn't make sense, let's just go through this real quick. So over here in the beginning, we have six liters. So now we add one, so we have seven liters, seven minus three is four. So currently we have four liters. Then we get two more liters, so we have six liters and six minus four ends up with two liters in our tank. Then we get three liters over here, so that gives us five liters and five minus one is zero. So at the ending, once we get over here, we end up with zero liters inside of our gas tank, but there's no problem because we start off again with four liters over here. So that is what the shortage means and our tank must have a value greater than or equal to the value of our shortage. Only and only then are we going to be able to give out our start value as a valid answer or else in that case we're going to end up resulting negative one if our tank is not greater than or equal to our shortage. And one more thing you want to notice is let's say we kept going on with this there might have been a point, so our start value is always i plus one. So let's say we did not find a proper start value and we went to the very ending over here. And in that case, our start value would have given us uh, four plus one, right? So we would have a value of five. And when you have a value which is equal to the length of our gas area, 
that means that we do not have any proper starting point. So we, in that case, that means that we're not able to make a single trip. And when we're not able to make a single trip, we will never be able to make a round trip. So that's exactly what that means. And that is going to be another condition, which if that is the case, so if the start value is equal to the length of our gas, then in that case, we're also going to end up outputting negative one in the case that it is not possible. So now let's go on and look at how the code part of the solution is going to look like. All right, so let's start off with our code over here and we're gonna start off by initializing our variables. So over here, we're going to have our tank variable, which has a value of zero. Then we're going to have the shortage variable, which also starts off at zero. And finally, we have the start. So we're gonna start off at the index of zero. So we're gonna start off at station number zero. Okay, so now we wanna iterate through each of the values inside of our gas. So to do that, we can do for our index in range length of gas. Okay, and the reason we're going through it by index is because then we can refer to that index for our cost area. Okay, so over here, the first step is going to be to fill up our tank of gas. So we're gonna add the amount of gas, so gas, and we're gonna go to the index index and add that to our tank. So currently we have that much gas. And over here, we're gonna check if the amount of gas we have in our tank is greater than or equal to the cost at that certain index. So if it is greater than or equal, that means that we are able to move, go on to the next gas station with the current amount of gas we have. So in that case, all we're gonna do is we're, we're gonna decrease that cost from our tank. So that means that we used up that certain amount of gas in order to make the trip to the next station. And now over here, we're going to have an else condition. So else means that we do not have enough gas to move on to our next station. So in this case, what's going to happen is we're gonna add a value to our shortage. So our shortage is gonna increase by the current cost that we're on, so cost index, and we're gonna subtract that by whatever value we have in our tank. And the reason we're doing the cost index first is because since this is not true, that means that the cost is obviously greater than our tank. And by doing this, we end up getting a positive value, or you could do it the other way around and just get the absolute value of that. Okay, so that is what we're going to add to our shortage because we're this many liters short in order to get to the next station. Okay, so that's gonna be our shortage. And over here, we're also gonna change our starting index and instead it's gonna be index plus one. So we're gonna start off at the next station. So if the zero station didn't work out, we would now start off at station number one. And finally, after this, we wanna reset our tank to the value zero. And that's really it for our forward loop. And over here, we wanna check if the start value we got is valid or not. So how can we actually check that? So over here, we're gonna check if our start value is equal to the length of gas. So if it is equal to the length of gas, that means that we were not able to um, go through even one trip. We weren't able to make a single successful trip. And in that case, we're not going to uh, get a proper answer and we're just gonna end up returning negative one. And over here, we actually have one more condition for when it could be negative one. And that is if our tank has a value which is less than whatever the shortage is. So if we have a value less than our shortage, for the coming trips, we will not be able to fulfill how much of a shortage there is in order to complete a, com a full circle. So our value has to be equal to or greater than the shortage so that the uh, starting value in our tank compensates for that shortage. Okay, and that should be it. So that's if we have uh, any of these, we're gonna end up returning negative one. But if that is not the case, that means that our answer is valid and we're gonna just return the start variable that we have. And that should be it. So let's submit our solution. And as you can see, our submission did get accepted. And finally, thanks a lot for watching guys. Do let me know if you have any questions and don't forget to like and subscribe if the video helped you. Thank you.